Hi everyone, this is Kat from Beachop.com, and today we're going to show you a quick skill builder tutorial on how to do the beaded double half knot stitch using three colors of Chinese knotting cord. This stitch is used in our new two stitch wrap bracelet project and was originally featured in Nicole Anderson's five stitch wrap bracelet project linked below. This skill builder is meant to be viewed in conjunction with our project pages for the two stitch wrap bracelet. So we've started off by making a full macrame square knot using all three of our Chinese knotting cords. In this case, we are using winter pine, that's the dark color, the green color is avocado, and the lightest color is peridot. So once we make our square knot, this leaves us with half of each cord on either side of our leather, so we've got three pieces on each side. Uh, I've placed them into this macrame board because it kind of helps you keep everything nice and organized and tight throughout your entire stitch. So to make things a little bit easier, from now on we're going to refer to each of the cords by a number. So this is going to be chord 1, chord 2, chord 3, chord 4, chord 5, and chord 6. So we've got our square knot above and we are ready to start our beaded double half knot stitch. Notice that chords 1 and 6 are the same color, in this case winter pine, and at the bottom of both of these I've pre-strung my seed beads I'm going to use. So we're going to start with chord 1 and moving a seed bead up to the top. Now set cord 1 off to the side and out of the way. Next you're going to grab cord 5, so that's the peridot right here, and you're going to make a half square knot. So we've got our loop going to the right because our cord is on the right side. So you're going to go over everything and then under and then tighten. Squeeze right there, and then you're going to do it again. So you're going to make a second half knot stitch. So it's not a full macrame stitch, both are going to be on the same side. Once you have that, you can put your cord 5 back down. Now you're going to take cord 1 and you're going to return it back down to the bottom. Next, you're going to take cord 6, that's your other winter pine with your seed beads, and you're going to do the same thing. So we've got a half knot stitch. So you're going to go over everything, under, and then just make sure that the seed bead on cord 1 is above where your stitch is. This is what's going to keep your seed bead in place. So slide it up to the top and tighten. As you can see now, our seed bead is nice and tight against our leather. So I like to just adjust all my cords, make sure everything's nice and tight, and then do my second half square knot. So loop over and then under and then tighten. Alright, so now once you're adjusted again, you're going to grab a seed bead off of cord 6 and slide it up to the top just like we did before. Now put cord 6 up and out of the way and you're going to go to the other side and grab cord 2. So we're going to do our half square knot again. This time the loop is on the left side because we're on the left side of our leather. So over, under, and tighten. And just keep yourself adjusted as you go. Tighten and then slide up. And there we go. And you're going to do your second one over, under, and tighten. Make sure you're capturing everything except for cord six. Then you can put cord two back down at the bottom and then cord six down at the bottom again as well. And you're going to grab cord one, this is your other one with your seed beads, you're going to do your half square knot, so over, and then under. Oop. It gets a little difficult with the seed beads sometimes, but it saves you time in the long run instead of individually stringing beads as you go. So get everything through, make sure your seed beads up there, and tighten. So you can tighten and adjust as you go, you can pull on cord six to kind of shorten and tighten that seed bead in place. And then I just like to keep everything nice and tight on my macrame board. Okay, so make your second loop over and then under. Get all those seed beads and tighten. Alright, so that's basically the full stitch. So we're just going to start from step one again. Pull your seed bead from cord one up to the top and place cord one up and out of the way. So we're going to do cord five now. It's peridot. Do our half knot over and under. And as you can see, we've got our pattern now, and we're basically just going to repeat these steps over and over again until we've completed the stitch. So in our project, it's about six and a half inches long. And so once you're all done with your stitch, it's going to look something like this. Uh, so thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the links below uh, to visit our website, beachup.com, and to get the resources for the two-stitch wrap bracelet projects.